Hello, this is Dr. Hassan with Innovate, and this is lecture number 58, the design of vending machine controller as a part of the applications for the derivation of state graphs of chapter 9, the design of sequence sequential network for the codes, digital logic design, or digital systems, or digital electronics. This is a disclaimer for you to read. I cite three references in digital logic design, however, there are many books related to the topic and the subject of digital logic design. In chapter 9, we talked about the derivation of state graphs, and we are now in practical applications to show you that finite state machines uh, and the design of synchronous sequential networks is an excellent approach to design variety of applications rather than building a microcomputer unit for each of these applications. Uh, actually, the alternative, i.e. that using flip-flops and finite stage machine is much cheaper, much easier. Uh, it is in real time, does not need any programming, does not need memory. It has a huge number of advantages over building a complete microcomputer system for your application. After we finish from the practical applications, we will talk about the reduction of state tables. This would allow me to use the minimal number of memory elements or the flip-flops. Then we will look at the best state assignment, and this is, will give me the minimum number of gates uh, to be used in the implementation. Then we talk about the implementation and implementation with a variety of uh, flip-flops and programmable logic devices. Then once we, when we finish that, we will talk about VHDL design, and we will conclude uh, the, the chapter and really most of the course uh, with this. The only thing will be left in the course, which is chapter 9, we'll talk about asynchronous sequential network, and we may also look at the design of finite state machine using uh, SM charts. Uh, so we will talk about those as well. The design problem here would like to derive a motor state table for a, for a synchronous sequential network acting a vending machine controller that returns or a package of candy or any other thing after it has received 25 cents in coins. So it's really a simple machine to show you how we design more complicated machines using uh, synchronous sequential networks. The machine has a single coin slot that accepts nickels, n, dimes, d, and quarters q. The controller receives the input signals n, d, and q from a mechanical center and outputs the signal r which is return a package of candy, or the signal C, which is retain a change in nickels, and the change here be in nickels only as, uh, as a condition to simplify the design. For every one output on C on change, the machine will return one nickel to the customer, return one, cust one nickel to the customer. So how the design will look like. See, the customer may insert 20 cents in nickels and or dimes, then insert a quarter. So therefore, the maximum amount of coins that the customer may insert through the coin slot is 45 cents. This is a very simple, because once he hit the 25 cents, the candy will come out. So he will get enough change in the machine. So with 25 cents, the candy Amount. So, therefore, we designate S0 as the reset state, and we designate one state for every additional nickel from S1, which is representing a 5 cent, to S9, which represents 45 cents in money received by the machine. Accordingly, the motor state table will look like as follows. So, we have the present state S0 to S9. S0 represents 0 cents, S1 5 cents, S2 10 cents, up to S9 45 cents. And we have the next state, S0 to S8, when we have 0, 0, 0. 
So if we receive no money at all, if I am S0 and I receive no money at all, so I will remain in S0. If I am in S1 and I receive no money, I will remain in S1. If I have 10 cents in the machine and I receive no money further, I will go to S2. However, once I hit and and once I hit S25, okay, I will go to a zero. I will go to a zero and I will release the candy. So R will be one and the change will be zero. Okay, but if I have in the machine 30 cents, how 30 cents could happen? The consumer here will put first a nickel, then he, then he, or he could put three dimes and a nickel and a quarter and, and, and so on and so forth. So it's a combination of nickels and quarters and dimes could be. But could be one dime and one nickel, or it could be two dimes and two nickels. He put two nickels first, then two dimes, so he will have three thirty cents. So this is a six. So with S six, what you will have, you will go to S five, and you will return one nickel. So zero one. The output will be zero one. But once you go to S five, the machine will go to S zero, and you will release the candy. Okay. Now, if you go, if, if, if the machine has, for instance, 45 cents, this is the case where he put maybe two dimes, then a quarter, or four nickels, then a quarter. So you are in S9. So in S9, you go to S8, you will release one nickel. And in S8, you will go to S7, you will release a second nickel. In S7, you will go to S6, you will release a third nickel. And S7 and S6 will go to S5 and you release. You go to S5 and you release. So you will release in four nickels. You go to S5, S5 will go to S0 and will return the candy. So you release four nickels and you return the candy and you go back to a zero. Now, if you are in S0 and you insert one nickel, you go to S1. If you insert one dime, you will go to S2. If you insert one quarter, you will go to S5. Okay? If you are in S1 and you insert nothing, so you'll go to S1, you remain in S1. If you insert one nickel, you will go to S2 because it's S2, it's 10 cents. If you input one dime, you will have a total of 15 cents. So you'll go to S3. We'll go to S3. Okay. And if you insert a quarter, you'll go to S6. And so on and so forth. So the table is very easy. And once you have the complete more table, you can draw the graph if you want to. Or you have the complete design for the network. So what we did, we designed a vending machine based on 25 cents return of the item and where R is one. And if you have extra money in the machine, the change also will be returned in nickels. Okay, and this is the conclusion of this lecture. I thank you very much for listening. Hopefully to see you soon in the next lecture. Please subscribe by clicking on the blue circle and also please give me a thumb up. Thank you so much. Bye.